Hey everyone, welcome back. Ever felt stuck juggling between your iPhone and Mac? Wishing you could access key documents on the go or streamline your workflow without constantly switching devices? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn your iPhone into a Mac-like powerhouse. All right, let's kick things off. Using your iPhone like a Mac can help streamline your workflow, boost productivity, and keep all your important files and apps right at your fingertips. Imagine having the flexibility of a Mac, but in your pocket. By the end, you'll have all the tips and tricks to fully integrate your devices and unlock the full potential of your iPhone. Let's dive in. To get started, let's head over to the App Store. You can find it on your home screen. It's the blue icon with a white A. Look for productivity and utility apps that mimic those found on Mac OS. Search for apps like Microsoft Office, Notion, and Trello. These will keep you organized and productive. Microsoft Office allows you to create and edit Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and PowerPoint presentations on the go. Notion a powerful all-in-one workspace that lets you take notes, manage tasks, and organize projects seamlessly. Trello. A visual tool for organizing your tasks and projects, perfect for team collaborations. Now let's talk about the installation process. Simply tap Get next to the app you want, and it'll start downloading. Once installed, you'll find these apps on your home screen. Tip, keep your apps organized by creating folders for related apps. For example, group all your productivity apps in one folder to find them easily. Here are a few more recommended apps that can really help you get that Mac-like experience. Google Drive. For cloud storage and file sharing, access your files from anywhere. Slack, for team communication, allowing you to stay in touch and collaborate effectively. Adobe Acrobat Reader, for managing PDF files, which is essential for reading documents on the go. Next up, let's discuss continuity features, starting with Handoff. This is a game changer for productivity, allowing you to start a task on your iPhone and pick it up on your Mac seamlessly. Handoff lets you work on multiple devices without missing a beat. For instance, you can start writing an email on your iPhone, then finish it on your Mac, and it'll be right there in your mail app. On your iPhone, go to Settings, scroll down, and tap on General. Then select AirPlay and Continuity. Make sure the Handoff option is enabled on your Mac. Open System Settings, click on General, then choose AirDrop and Handoff. Make sure the handoff option is checked. Another fantastic feature is the Universal Clipboard. This allows you to copy something on your iPhone and paste it on your Mac, making cross-device tasks a breeze. Imagine you're drafting an email on your iPhone and want to include some text from a document on your Mac. Just copy on one device and paste on the other. It's that easy. Or if you find a quote on a website on your Mac, just copy it and paste it into a note on your iPhone. Now, let's talk about iCloud. Setting it up is essential for smooth integration between your devices. If you don't have an iCloud account, you can create one during your iPhone setup or by going to Settings, click on your name, and then iCloud. To create or log into your iCloud account, go to Settings, click on your name, and then iCloud. Here, you can choose what to sync, photos, contacts, calendars, and more. Make sure to enable syncing for things like photos, notes, and calendar. This way, you have everything you need right at your fingertips. For example, any photos you take on your iPhone will automatically upload to your Max Photos app. With iCloud, your photos and notes will automatically sync across devices. Just open the Photos and Notes apps to see your content. You can also access your calendar and stay updated on appointments, 
all synced with your Mac. Don't forget about iCloud Drive. It's a great way to keep your files organized and accessible from both your iPhone and Mac. You can store documents, presentations, and more in iCloud Drive. Just open the Files app on your iPhone to manage your documents easily. Let's personalize your iPhone to really feel like a Mac. First, widgets. They can enhance your productivity by giving you quick access to important information. To add widgets, long press on your home screen and tap the plus sign. Choose from a variety of productivity widgets, like calendar or reminders. For example, the calendar widget can show your upcoming events at a glance. I recommend the calendar widget for keeping track of events, the reminders widget for quick access to tasks, and the weather widget to stay updated on the latest forecasts. Next, let's talk about changing themes and icons to mimic macOS aesthetics. You can customize app icons to make your iPhone look more like a Mac. There are various apps that let you change your app icons, such as Shortcuts for custom icons and Widgetsmith for personalized widgets. Just search for Icon Pack on the App Store to find creative designs. Organize your home screen like a Mac desktop. Group similar apps into folders for quick access. You can also use the app library for a cleaner home screen by hiding apps you don't frequently use. Now let's utilize Siri and shortcuts for added productivity. Siri can help you complete tasks quickly. Activate Siri by holding the side button or saying, Hey Siri. You can set reminders, check the weather, and even send messages, all with just your voice. For example, say, Hey Siri, remind me to call mom at 5 p.m and you're all set. Create personalized shortcuts to automate tasks. Open the Shortcuts app and tap Create Shortcut to set up specific actions, like sending a message to a friend or starting a playlist. Some useful shortcuts include creating a good morning routine that tells you the weather, reminders, and even plays your favorite music. Let's move on to browsing the web. You can use Safari on your iPhone just like you would on your Mac. When you open Safari, tap the AA icon in the address bar and select Request Desktop Website. This will make websites load as if you were on a Mac, giving you a full browsing experience. This is especially useful for sites that have limited functionality on mobile. You can access all features and content seamlessly. Make sure to utilize bookmarks and the reading list for easy access to your favorite sites. You can save articles to read later and organize bookmarks just like you would on a Mac. Next, let's discuss file management. The Files app on your iPhone is crucial for organizing your documents and files. In the Files app, you can create folders and subfolders to keep everything tidy. Just tap on the Browse tab and you can easily navigate your files. Files stored in iCloud Drive will sync across all your devices. So, if you create a document on your iPhone, it'll be available on your Mac instantly. Consider using third-party file managers, like Documents by Readle or File Browser for advanced file management options. They provide more features than the standard Files app, allowing you to connect to cloud storage services and even manage FTP files. Let's talk about enhancing your productivity further by installing Office apps. Microsoft Office and Google Workspace apps are available on your iPhone. With Microsoft Word, Excel, and Google Docs, you can create and edit documents and spreadsheets on the go. This means you can review reports or work on presentations no matter where you are. Want to access your Mac directly from your iPhone? Use remote desktop apps like TeamViewer or Microsoft Remote Desktop to connect to your Mac and control it from your iPhone. These apps provide a seamless experience, allowing you to work on your Mac's desktop, access files, and run applications from your iPhone, making your productivity truly mobile. Now let's address some common issues you might face. If you experience sync problems, first check your Wi-Fi connection. 
make sure both your devices are connected to the same network. Also, double check your iCloud settings to ensure syncing is enabled for the apps you want to use. Sometimes, logging out of iCloud and back in can resolve lingering sync issues. What if you find that a Mac feature isn't available on your iPhone? In that case, search for an alternative app in the App Store that provides similar functionality. There are often great substitutes for Mac apps available on iPhone. That's it for today. By following these tips, you can turn your iPhone into a powerful Mac-like device, boosting your productivity on the go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome content. Let me know in the comments how you plan to use your iPhone like a Mac. See you next time.